Hello everyone, welcome back. Hopefully uh, many of you out there will join me and enjoy what I have to share today. I'm just going to start right in with a little bit of talk, which basically is about mastering vinyasa yoga. It's the name of my book that I published several years back now. And as I say in the caption below, mastering vinyasa yoga is not about doing crazy poses. It's not about pressing up to handstand. It's not about putting your leg behind your head. It's really essentially about of inner form and outer form in our yoga practice and a combining of movement, breath, and posture in sequences that really make sense for the body, that have a nice flow. So really it's meditation in motion, you could say. The breath is the key to connecting to our inner form, both our inner intention, a certain metaphysical healing intention, if you'd like, but also the inner connection, energetic connection in our bodies, literally, which then also has a influence or an impact directly on how we're engaging in our bodies. So the exhale can take you into a connection into your core, in your stability in your lower abdomen, which we refer to as Udhyana Mandha. The inhale, especially the end of the inhale, you can feel the connection into the pelvic floor, which we call Mula Bandha. When you have the combination of these two, it actually informs the whole alignment of every pose in a subtle way. So, without talking too much longer, just to say, today I'm going to go into a moderate flow, and I'll be focusing or bring awareness, your awareness, more to the breath and certain pauses that we just naturally will feel, okay? So start with your feet hip width apart, bend your knees, have your hands on top of your knees. This is a classic warm-up exercise here. Exhale all the way out, flex your spine, scoop the tailbone under, chin drops in, and it's a pause at the end of the exhale. It's a moment when you can really feel these inner engagements. Udhyana Bandha, Chalanara Bandha, chin dropping in. Inhale and extend. Sit bones back, heart forward, shoulder blades draw down. You don't have to push your head too far back. Pause for a moment and feel connection deep into your core, into the pelvic floor. Then exhale and round again. So not only are you engaging pelvic movements, spinal movements, but the breath connection. So you pause at the end, the breath and connecting deep into that abdominal lift and then Extend again, inhale. Just this simple exercise is doing so much. You ground your heels and find the pause. Just linger at the end there. Hello, everyone. Exhale, round in. Pausing. And it's those pauses that really connect you in, right? Inhale, extend. We'll just do one last round like this, okay? Exhale, round in. Now, if you just had lunch or something, you don't want to do anything too intense and to disturb your digestive system. So inhale, extend. Pausing, feel the connection into the pelvic floor. Good. And then we'll stand up, bring the feet together. Have the outer edges of the feet parallel, spread the toes, ground the heels, arms are reaching up by your sides, lengthen up the top of the head, connect to your ujjayi breath, sound in the throat, and again, just feel the subtle connections in your lower abdomen, in the pelvic floor, just keep lengthening up. The more that you lengthen, the more you extend your spine, the more you'll feel that natural connection. So exhale all the way out, rooting down, and then with your inhale, reach wide and up and gaze up. Again, we're going to pause for a moment. 
Ready, roots down, tailbone down, lower belly in and up. Feel into the pelvic floor again. Exhale, slowly fold. Keep a long spine. If you have to bend your knees a little bit, that's okay. Fold, and again, just pause at the end. And feel the connection deep inside. Inhale, flat back. And if you want to float up on your fingertips, you can draw down your back. Good. And then take your left foot back. Exhale. Drop that knee, point the toes back there, and then reach up. Inhale. And again, just reach, lengthen, feel the connection deep into your core. And then come back to a plank. Exhale and lower down. You can choose either knees, chest, chin, or chaturanga. I'll make you pause there. Inhale, upward dog. Do a pause at the end of your inhale here. Neutralize your head position. Really press your hands and your feet. And then exhale, come back, downward dog. Just take a few breaths here. Press into the knuckles. Spin your upper arms externally. Stay connected to your Ujjayi breath. Sit bones reaching back. Good. Then look forward. We'll just step or hop between the hands, okay? So you inhale, flat back. Maybe find that little lingering pause, connecting deep into the pelvic floor, and then exhale, fold. Again, a lingering pause, and then inhale all the way up. Reach, put your heels down, pause, exhale to neutral. Reach again. Inhale. Lengthen through. Roots down. Pause. Lift from deep in your core. And then exhale. Slowly fold. Again, pause for a moment. Inhale. Flat back. Pause for a moment. Activate through your thighs. Draw down your back. Left foot steps back. Exhale. Drop the knee. Point the toes. Did I say left? I mean right, right? <laughs> I'm trying to do the switch for Facebook. Right? So <laughs> your other leg back. Okay, so reach up. Inhale. Pause for a moment. And then exhale. Come to a plank. And lower down. You choose your transition. Then upward dog, inhale. Over the toes, press the feet, press the hands, pause for a moment. And then exhale, back to downward dog. And just lengthen out. Release your neck, soften your eyes, smooth breath. Good. Look forward, bend your knees. You can hop or step between your hands. Inhale, flat back. Pause again. And then exhale, fold. So many people like to rush their practice. So if you really get into your breath, so pause. Then inhale, all the way up. Reach. Again, pause, exhale to neutral. So if you take some moments in between, especially in between the breaths, then you get these moments where you really connect both physically, energetically, and metaphysically, mentally, deeper inside, right? Okay, so now I'm going to take you into a little stronger pattern, but you can choose how strong it gets, right? So let's go Ukatasana, bend your knees, chair pose, right? Sit into it, inhale, and you can either keep your heads looking forward or look up, pause for a moment, and then exhale, slowly fold. Again, find the pause, Mula Bandha, Vira Bandha, inhale, flat back, then you can Lift off a little bit if you want. 
So you really activate down your back, lift your thighs, pause. And now you can jump if you'd like directly back or step directly back. Chaturanga. Yeah, upward dog. And come back, downward dog. Let's take the right leg back and up. Inhale. Exhale and step. Okay, so if you're seeing it switched there, it looks like my left leg, right? So we can do left leg, it's fine. So plant the back foot. First for your reach up. Inhale. Good. Open it up. Second warrior. Exhale. Just wide down. So you still want to get that full breath and maybe a little pause, right? Inhale. Reach up. Leaning back. Little pause. Exhale. Square off towards the front and high lunge. So you can have your hands facing down. Little pause. Inhale. Reach up. Square off towards the front. And then let's come back down. Exhale. Chaturanga. Inhale, upward dog. So you can see just that, that lingering moment. Exhale, downward dog. That ends of the breath. Really connects you in, right? Then left leg or the right leg back. Other leg back. Inhale. Exhale and step. Plant the back foot. Inhale, reach up. Now it takes some getting used to to really breathe through these poses. Exhale, open out. Inhale, reach left arm up. Lean it back, pause for a moment. Exhale, pivot towards. High lunge on the ball of the back foot with your fingertips reaching down. Pause. Then inhale, reach up. Pause. And then exhale. All the way back. Lower down. You choose your transition. Yeah, upper dog. And down. Okay, since this is going to, supposed to be a short form, the vinyasa form can get pretty long and drawn out. So, but instead of going all the way back to the top of the mat, let's take it from here, right leg back, open the hip out, bend your knee. And then exhale and step between your hands again. Let's go first warrior one more time. So you plant the back foot, reach up, inhale. Open it out, second warrior, exhale. Reach right arm up, inhale. And then let's take it to triangle pose. So you straighten the right leg, activate through your thighs, right hand slides down. So you can either go to the lower shin, the ankle, or outside of the ankle and floor. Stay here for a couple breaths. Keep breathing smoothly. Okay, let's turn it into a side angle. So you could go second warrior and just lean forward or bring your hand to the floor and reach through the fingertips. Turn and look up. Ground the back foot. Keep breathing smoothly. We know that if you start, if the breath starts getting harsh and you're struggling, then you're no longer in the flow of it, right? You have to just keep that even feeling. Good. And then bring your hands down and let's step back. Okay. If you want to go right to downward dog, do that. Otherwise, go through chaturanga, upward dog. Find those little pauses, right? Exhale, down. 
See how the tendency is to really rush through. Let's do left leg back, open the hip out. Of course, if I don't keep a good pace, then I'll be going for a half an hour rather than 20 minutes. <laughs> That's part of why we rush, right? So it's a matter of how to be efficient and yet also be calm and relax. Okay, let's step your foot forward. Remember, you're doing your other side, okay? First warrior, plant the back foot. Come up, inhale. Open it out. Second warrior. Really grounded, wide stance. Reach front arm up. Inhale. And then we'll go to triangle pose. You straighten the left leg. Activate through your thigh. Left hand slides down. Again, you could be a shin or ankle, not on the upper shin, but the lower shin. Maybe touch the floor. Keep activating through your feet, through your legs. Lengthen through your spine, keep the breath smooth. Then we'll turn it into a side angle, Parajvakanasana. So come up to second warrior again. Either forearm against your thigh and reaching, or left hand down to the floor, reaching through the right arm. You can gaze up underneath and reach through the fingertips. Ground that back foot, tone that back thigh. Breathe evenly, lengthen the breath. So ideally, so go ahead and bring your hands down and step back. Ideally, you're breathing in this pattern is even, right? Exhales and inhales the same length. Up we dog, down we dog. Connect deep into your core. Good, okay, now what I'm gonna do is just take you into a sitting pattern from here. So just come through to sitting. You can jump or you can step, cross your legs and sit down, right? Now we'll just do a brief core and hip pattern here. So keep connecting to your ujjayi, sound in the throat, extend the legs out to your navasana. Lift the sternum, pull the upper arm bones back. Feel the connection to your core again. Listening to the breath, feeling the vibration of the breath. Good. Then bring your heels in, knees out. So what you, you can see, what I've done today is just done a simple flow pattern. Hip opening. So heels in, knees out. You can turn the soles of the feet up and slowly lean out. Really focus on your breath, move with your breath. Okay, let's come back up and do Navasana one more time. So you go lifting, reach up, Okay, and then wide angle, Upavishta Konasana, extend the needles out. And here's a little challenge for you. you know, usually we do either holding the feet or walking the hands forward. Just for a moment, interlace your fingers behind your back. Lengthen up, work your upper arm bones back. And just see if you can walk your sit bones back a little bit. Keep extending out through the heels. Activate through your thighs and just lean out. Exhale, keep connecting to your Ujjayi breath. Well, it's not easy to go very far there. Those who have worked this a lot or are very flexible can probably do it deeper, but it doesn't matter. You just try to work your shoulders back. 
chin in, connect to your Ujjayi breath, keep extending out through the legs. Good. Okay, so now I'm going to wrap this up with a, a gentle reclining hip opening pattern. I think I'll turn a little bit, yeah, turn backwards here. Right, so you're on your back, pick your right leg up, hold the big toe, left hand on your thigh, and bring your head up. Good, inhale, head back, take the leg out to the side, look the other way. And then we come back to center, pull the leg in as best you can. You can use two hands if you want. And then before we leave this, just if you can cradle that lower leg in. Hopefully you can see what I'm doing here. <laughs> so you're cradling the leg in like an upside down pigeon pose. It's okay to bend that other knee. Okay. When you're ready, release and switch. Take second leg, your other leg up. Hold the big toe, you can strap here if you want. Bring your up for a moment. And then bring your head back, take the leg out to the side. Look the other way, just anchor your shoulders back. Good. Now this could end up being quite a long session here, so I have to wrap it up. Come back in, bring the leg in, exhale, and then cradle your lower leg. So even if you're just holding with your hand on your foot, and you're bringing in, you can bend that other knee, but wherever you can get to, cradle it in close, just for a few breaths here. And then draw both knees in after you've relaxed for a moment with your knees drawn in and just drop forward sitting up, come to a comfortable cross-legged sitting position. So really it's just these short forms show you how much shift and change you can create in a really short time. Just these simple yoga forms, really breathing, really letting the energy flow. And then if you sit at the end for a moment, and I'm gonna just do a, an alternate nostril breathing pattern with you, a very classic, classical pattern, okay? So you're sitting in an easy cross-legged position. You can definitely sit up on something like a folded blanket or a block, which makes it so that your pelvis can be more neutral, slightly lifted over your, above your, your knees, right? So then the traditional thing here would be to have your hands in Jnana Mudra, Wisdom Mudra, thumb and index fingertips touching, but then you're gonna bring the right hand up, you fold, you know, it may look like a left, left hand on there, your image there, but, so you fold the middle and index fingertips down, and then so the, Fingertips and the thumb tip are going to come coming to each side of my the bridge of my nose here. Exhale through both nostrils. Then inhale through the left nostril. Now we did those nice long breaths while we were moving, so just pause at the peak of the inhale for whatever feels like a good moderate hold and then exhale towards the right or out through the right nostril. Then inhale through the right nostril. Then pause at the peak just for three 
or four counts, maybe. Then we lift up to the top of the head, lift to the pelvic floor, exhale to the left. We'll just do one more back and forth, really just to, so you can feel what it's like to have this whole pattern going. So inhale on the left. Pause for a moment at the peak and really lift up. Lift up to the top of the head, lift to the sternum, let the chin settle in, lift to the pelvic floor. Good, exhale to the right. Inhale on the right when you're ready. Pause for a moment at the peak. Again, nothing too extreme. It should just be moderate and comfortable. No strain. Then exhale to the left. your hand down. Both hands may be on the mudra, the thumb and index fingertips touching. Just come to a very soft, relaxed breath. Let's say belly breath, soft belly, soft around your eyes, your face. So you can see where the yoga practice in its entirety as yoga, not as a workout, can really shift and change your whole internal awareness and your balance. Because at the end, you don't feel like you're flustered and overworked. You feel balanced and good. So may you feel balanced and good for the rest of the day whenever you're coming into this. And thank you for joining me. I can see a few of you there. And come a little closer. Thank you so much. Namaste.